What's going on everybody, Josh Pocock here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at an open source alternative to Perplexity AI. This tool is completely free, it's called Storm, and it is made by Stanford University. Get a wiki-like report on your topic. Storm is a research prototype for automating the knowledge curation process. It will create long, in-depth reports. Let's dive right into it. All right, so this is a really cool tool. As you can see here, I'm on the Storm website. We thank Azure Cloud Credits and you.com for discounted search API access. So they use you, um, you API for searching. Um, and yeah, we can really just get right into it. Here is the GitHub repo. So you can either use Storm for free on their cloud or you can actually self host it. All right, so storm synthesis of topic outlines through retrieval and multi-perspective question asking that's what i guess storm stands for and this is the official github with stanford storm right here so you can go ahead and i'll leave this in the description down below i'm not going to show you how to host it it's very very simple you can literally just follow the steps right here so you can literally just clone the GitHub repo, install the required packages such as Python, Conda, and then you install requirements, and then you set up a um, environment file um, or create a secrets.tom.l file, uh, open AI key, etc. You can put your Azure base if you're using that, and then running Storm Wiki locally. You just run Python um right here and then that's uh yeah you can also customize storm as well so you can decide whether you want it to use open ai model cloud model etc so all in all if you're self-hosting it it's great you know you're self-hosting something that's you know sort of like a perplexity alternative and um it's it's very solid too we're going to get into that in just a second the one thing is if you're self-hosting it, obviously you're using your own API key, so it's technically not free, right? So I'm going to show you the 100% free version, and this is what it looks like. So we're logged in here on the cloud. Now, just before I dive into it, um, here is perplexity. So we have discovery, library, home. Here we have discovery, library, new session, um, up here it's very basic so far but it's very powerful at the same time and i'll show you that in just a second now perplexed so i'm currently on perplexity claude and chat gpt now chat gpt is about 20 bucks 25 bucks a month Claude's about thir like 30 25 whatever bucks a month and then perplexity is around the same they're all about 20 to 30 bucks a month so i'm probably paying about 60 to 90 a uh, hundred dollars tax you know per month on on these three tools alone um perplexity is is i really like using perplexity um you know all these tools yes they're cost expensive or you're, they they're pretty pricey i guess once you you know for some people but um i just like having them all because i use them in different use cases cool few things about perplexity is they have the um the pro feature right here which it will like um do multiple searches and and get a more refined uh response and you can search different things like academic writing math video social and they have a good discovery page and then now also too they just came out with a new feature called pages which essentially will build like a page that's kind of like a article page or blog page around a specific topic and you can really edit it and i've done a video on pages and it's actually a really good feature so all in all i do like perplexity and i'm definitely going to continue using it but storm is really good too and um i'm going to start using it a bit more but if you're on a budget or you just don't have perplexity or you don't want perplexity then this is definitely um something you should be using so if we go to discover you can see here it's pulling um some interesting articles like most popular um recent some on different news etc so we just click on one of them let's just see generating your article it may take a three minutes so the one thing is it does take not this just because it's already in the news it can take a bit longer and i'll show you in just a second but i'm just showing you some of the news stuff just to show you what the article looks like um 
and they're very long that's one thing you'll see is it is very very long okay and it asks you to get feedback at the end because they're tr constantly trying to improve it so let's go ahead and start a new session now as you can see here it looks like storm is um release is going to be releasing soon a human ai collaboration mode i don't know if that's similar to what the pro mode is here that could be the case um that's exactly where the pro is in perplexity so um that would make sense now let's just generate a topic on uh, i don't know let's just say how solar panels can save homeowners money in texas okay let's just do this for an example case oh actually yeah so it's going to say please elaborate the purpose of writing this article i'm writing this article as a sales letter slash sales argument that i can um I can use in many different sales slash marketing channels. Okay, let's just keep it simple. Boom, start. Now, I'm probably going to have to fast forward this or cut it. Let's just see how long it takes because last time I used this, it did take, like it says, it can take up to three minutes. It did take maybe a minute or two. Um, and the reason being is we'll sh I'll show you in just a second. You can actually see how it kind of came to the specific answers it did. And it also, that's one. And also two, um, it, it's very, very long. It's generating very long form content here. So um, yeah, it's going to take a bit longer. So I'll uh, come back once it's done. Okay, so, so far we can see it's finished browsing these specific websites. Forbes, CNET. Uh, looking at Texas solar panel incentivized buyback programs, um, solar panels, Texas, um, freedom, freedom, solar power, uh, how net metering works, Texas net metering complete guide. So it's really scraping and like diving deep into some of the top um, websites, which is good. That's similar to what perplexity does. Um, but yeah. Okay, so it's still generating the article, but just as it's doing that, um, we it looks like it did almost finish brainstorming. So it, this button popped out where you can see brainstorming process. You can see here, basic fact writer. So basic fact writer is uh, focusing on broadly uh, covering the basic facts over the topic. So you can see here the bot sort of talking to itself. What are the current incentivizer or rebate uh, available for homeowners in Texas who install solar? We got that. What is the average cost of solar for the typical Texas homeowner? You can see it's kind of going through, uh, you know, some of the FAQs here. An economist, um, the editor specializes in economic analysis. So here it's going through, asked about three questions, then renewable energy specialist. So we have different agents asking questions to one another. And... Um, that's how the uh, brainstorming process kind of works with this tool with storm and as you can see here we got the table of contents on the left hand side nicely organized we have summary historical contacts of solar in texas economic benefits initial and ongoing costs of solar insulation in texas uh, environmental benefits of adopting solar energy real-time impact use cases we have different case studies which is really cool um, government rule in promoting net uh, solar energy so going over buyback programs federal federal and uh, state incentives uh, renewable portfolio standards property tax exemptions 